Hey everybody, you're playing Payday 3 and we are working on a true connoisseur achievement slash trophy which is to steal the Shonda Luttrell painting on Very Hard. Now the Shonda Luttrell painting is the painting that's inside the main display area on the first floor. So if you were to enter the main entrance, walk through the lobby, the main lobby area, underneath two staircases, in the center there's a painting that's hidden behind bulletproof glass okay so that's the one that we're looking for we need three real players to pull this off what we're gonna do is put on our masks right away avoid all of these cameras make our way into the building from the side you can hop up onto the ledge in the fire escape we're unlocking this door so that we have access to the security cameras so that is crucial here we no longer have to worry about cameras as far as getting caught we just have to worry about security guards it does get a little chaotic here at the beginning, but we're just tying up a few loose ends so we don't get caught and we can remain in stealth. We grabbed a QR code off of the cell phone in the security office, and there is also another one in the manager's office, all right? So we only need two QR codes for this. You can pick them up in various offices, but what we're attempting to accomplish here is these little miniature statues right here. These correspond to larger statues that exist throughout the exhibits, all right? So we need to collect these statues statues and that's why we need three people to do this because we need to pick up the statues at the exact same time so i happen to know in this run that these statues are located in e4 e7 and e3 on the first floor so we're going to do e4 and e7 first then we're going to do e3 last I do like to access E4 from the roof. You can gain access from the ground floor as well with another QR code, but instead of having to pick up a third one, we're just going to cut the glass on the roof, hop down onto this wall inside the room, wait until you're comfortable with the lasers, and then jump over to the breaker box in the back of the room, pull it, and that will deactivate the lasers in the room you're gonna do this rinse and repeat in e7 and e3 it's just different laser situations inside there all right so on the back side of this video i'll put how to gain access to e4 uh, from the ground level but we're gonna move over to e7 which is right next to e4 i like to access e7 from the other door just simply because of how many times we had to do this i became familiar with this set up specifically so we're just going to weave back and forth underneath these lasers again we're making our way to the back of the room to the breaker box we can pull the breaker box and that will deactivate these lasers here once you get a hang of the laser situation it's not too bad but that's only half the battle we actually also have to complete the initial mission of accessing panels on the walls and then lowering the security bars around the cases that hold the statues okay so we're gonna make our way over to e3 just hug this wall here on the outside hit this stairwell and Check your corners for security guards, but E3 is right down here next to the stairwell. Once we get inside here, floor is lava in this situation, so we're going to hop around on the furniture and just make sure we're not touching the floor. So we're going to jump. We're going to jump straight up and slightly forward there, and then we're going to leap, leap. Be careful here. We're going to jump to the couch in the middle and then to the breaker box on the back wall. Turn this one off as well. Like I was mentioning, though, Turning these off is only half the battle. Now that we have the lasers off in the three rooms that are holding each of the statues, we do still need to lower the security bars. So that's what the other two players are working on. They're working on disabling the ones downstairs. They have finished up already the ones upstairs. This is very tricky. Avoid the security guards and just be patient here. There were far too many times where we tried to push and then we got caught. So if there's any advice I have for you, just take it easy here. These security guards are relentless on very hard. So we're going to make our way through all of this. We've lowered all of the security bars now. The lasers are done. And we're going to each go into a room corresponding to where the statues are located. So one person in each room looking at each statue that corresponds to the miniature ones on the manager's desk. We're cutting the glass here and we're going to pick up these statues at the exact same time. Each person needs to grab it simultaneously. And once we do this, if you notice in the lower left-hand corner, just above each player's name, there is an icon now showing that we each have a piece of artwork in our inventory. 
Now that we've completed collecting the statues, we can make our way back to the manager's office. We're gonna move this painting on the wall here. It will expose a red button that we can press. And now we can work on obtaining the Shonda Luttrell painting down in the lobby area. Before we head down there though, we can enter the security office here and we can actually look at the cameras and there are two cameras in the room where the painting that we need is. Here you can see that the cameras are actually indicating a red arrow map on the ground. You can also see the lasers. So what we're gonna do here is one person is gonna sit up in the security room and they're going to guide the other person downstairs. So Dougie Fresh is gonna stay in the security room and I'm gonna head downstairs. I do have to push through a security guard down here. We have one more call before they start searching and then one more after that and we're caught. So. This was very hectic down here, uh, nerve wracking to say the least, but I dispose of this body here. Now, what happens is actually when I drop my bag to dispose of this body, I can no longer see the lasers that are in this area. That really does not matter because I'm gonna be guided by Dougie upstairs anyways. So he is going to talk me through this entire situation. Simply put, I'm gonna move forward exactly when he tells me to. I am going to scoot. I'm gonna turn slowly left or right exactly when he tells me to. So I'm going to actually superimpose some of the camera footage here. And you can see this is what he sees and then compared to what I see, obviously. So he's just having me follow the arrows on the ground. Uh, on the security footage, it kind of looks like I'm hitting the lasers, but as long as you're following the path on the ground, you should be good. At this point, it is worth mentioning that the achievement slash trophy does state that you only simply need to steal the Shonda Luttrell painting on Very Hard. You do not need to complete this mission, okay? So what we decided to do here, because we have our masks on, we can't escape from the van out back without drawing attention to ourselves very easily anyways. We decided to just go hot in the situation and take all of our loot upstairs to the helicopter. We found that to be the easiest approach, again, because you simply just need to steal the painting. So I paused here. We were debating whether or not I could stand here. Just be careful. But once you get to this point, you should be able to jump over this railing here. Once you do that, on the other side, you should be able to pick up the painting. You can't pick it up from this side of the railing. Uh, not that we found anyways. So pick up the painting and now we're just going to simply alert security and we're going to push through getting all of our loot upstairs onto the roof into the helicopter. I was hesitant to put this bag down so I definitely did not do that but I did run over here and grab a QR code so that we could open up E1 and work on the standard mission to get out of this level but I'm not gonna pick that up. I'm taking the painting that I grabbed that we worked so hard for, and I'm going straight out onto the roof as soon as the helicopter gets here, and it's going inside the helicopter. So uh, not real sure what the delay was on the achievement pop, but uh, because of the delay, I can't say definitively whether or not it was just grabbing the painting or throwing it into the helicopter, but for good measure, we did throw it into the helicopter. The achievement pops here. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. They're coming in 30 seconds. Get ready. All right, so as promised, here is the entrance to E4 from the ground level. If you happen to have an extra QR code to do this, open the door. We're going to wait for the cone laser to make its rounds, and then we're going to move with the other lasers in sequence. So once they disappear, move into that space, and then push a little bit further so that you're not going to get caught when it turns again. Just be patient here. You can duck if you need to, but that's how you get into E4 from the ground level.